Hello, third grade math friends. I am appearing to you in our Google slide presentation over lesson 67, which is on polygons. Now this lesson starts on page 362, but before we dive any deeper into this lesson, I would really like it if you guys went to watch this Brain Pop Junior video. Here is the link that you can click on to access the video. And if you do not already have a free account um, made, I would definitely encourage that you go ahead and do that. Because during this time, Brain Pop is allowing their resources to be free to you. And after you watch that video, I would really love to see some video responses from you telling me all about what a polygon is. And I think that you guys are the perfect person to tell me. Um, so as you watch the video, I want you to be thinking about what rules do shapes have to follow in order to be considered polygons. So you guys go ahead and watch that video and with teacher magic, I will reappear in slide number two. Right, now that you've watched that video, I am on page 362 and we are going to be looking at example number one. Now, the question that example number one has given us is, why are these shapes not considered polygons? So if we were to look at the shape that's next to A, you guys might have noticed that it is missing a top line. And because it is not a closed shape, it cannot be considered a polygon. If we moved over and looked at shape B, you guys would be able to determine that that is in fact a three-dimensional shape and therefore it's not flat. If it were just a square, then it would be considered a polygon. And for shape C, you guys know that that is a circle and a circle does not have any straight lines at all. Because it doesn't have any straight lines and it is curved, it cannot be considered a polygon either. Here's your little message on this corner. It says, keep it up, you can do it. All right, so we are on page 363 and I want you to look at that chart that is given to you. And the information that I want you to remember from this chart is each of these shapes along with the sides that correlate with it and also pay close attention to the blue letters that are highlighted for you. Those are important to remember also. So the first shape that we have is a triangle. It has tri highlighted and tri in Greek means three. You guys know that a triangle is a shape that has three sides. The next shape is a quadrilateral. Quad is highlighted for you, and quad means four in Greek. Quadrilaterals have four sides. The next shape is a pentagon. Penta means five, and therefore a pentagon has five sides. The next shape is a hexagon. Hexa means six, and therefore a hexagon has six sides. Now the last one, you can think about an octopus. An octagon has eight sides, just like an octopus has eight tentacles. All right, so triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, and octagon. Be thinking about those as we continue in this lesson. On page 363 still, we are going to be looking at example number two. So the person in our textbook, her name is Kathleen, she has arranged a pattern block design and we need to determine what each pattern block is. What polygon does it resemble? So in order to do that, you need to count each side. Now, doing that together, we would go one, two, three, four, five, six. Each pattern block has six sides, 
and looking back at our chart on either the top of that page or on slide three, you guys would be able to answer that each pattern block is a hexagon because a hexagon has six sides. Now, we are moving quickly through this lesson because you guys are that great. We are looking at example number three. It says, Mrs. Lopez saw this sign and stopped at the intersection. What is the shape of the sign? To determine the actual shape of that sign, you might have it as common knowledge, or you would look at the chart on the top of that page. Now, that is a shape with eight sides, and we know that a shape with eight sides is considered an octagon. So, A, a stop sign is an octagon. It has eight sides. Now, for B, it's asking us to find the perimeter. Now, as a refresh, to refresh your memory, to find the perimeter means to add up the total distance of a given shape. So if we have eight sides that are 12 inches long, we can either um, repeat our addition problem of eight plus eight plus eight 12 times, or we know that if I have 12 groups of eight, my multiplication problem would be eight times 12. You can look in your multiplication chart and tell me that eight times 12 equals 96. And we can't forget our label. Eight times 12 equals 96 inches. For examples four and five, I am on page 364. Now, example four is asking us to determine um, what polygon these four shapes are. So, by looking at example number four, you need to count each um, shape's sides. So, all four of those shapes have four sides each. And a shape that has four sides is called a quadrilateral. We've already solved example four. Great job. Let's look at example number five. Example number five, it says Simon ran the perimeter of the playground once. How far did he run? Now to refresh your memory yet again, perimeter means the distance around the outside of a shape. So we need to add up all of those lengths. And I've already typed up those lengths for you. And I've also solved, but we'll talk about that. So I have 60 plus 40 plus 30 plus 20 plus 30 plus 20. Now, you guys would be able to tell me that 60 plus 40 is 100. And that is a great way to simplify this long problem. And you guys would also be able to tell me that 30 plus 20 equals 50. And I have another set of 30 plus 20. So really, my addition problem is 100 plus 50 plus 50. And you would find that the perimeter of this playground is 200. But yet again, don't forget your label. You will need that. It is 200 yards. All right. See, so watching that brain pop video and this lesson, you guys are going to be pros at polygons. Your homework for this evening is on pages 365 and 367. These are your problems for this evening. I've only given you eight, so enjoy having two problems off. And here is a hint that I've given you for number 16. You need to count the sides. Now, I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to ruin the surprise for you. So, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Continue to work hard and make me proud. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, third grade.